And my leadership style really is about a lot of trust. It's a high trust environment where um, I give low direction, it's high trust. I like to have fun and really celebrate wins as a team. Um, engagement, employee engagement is really important to me. So really connecting our employees to our business and, and having that emotional connection so it's a part of, um, they like coming to work. We have a place that's fun to work. And, but we also get things done, we service the customer and we, and we have fun doing it. For me, who inspires me as a leader is, is my family. Uh, my wife, obviously, to, to come to work every day and, and do my best, and, and also my mom. We, we grew up, I was an only child, uh, single mom family, and so to see the hard work that she put in to, to raise me and to go through and, and build me up as I was, I guess, maturing. Um, you know, it, it, I know there was a lot of hard work in that, so just to try and uh, take that work ethic and, and pride and, and carry that through my life. I think there's a couple challenges. Uh, I'll name two. First is technology. There's a lot of things coming from competition, large competition that, um, whether it be Google or Amazon Supply, that I think uh, is going to change the face of how we do things. So there's there are some threats from that standpoint that if we don't stay on top of technology and and, and what those folks are thinking, you know, they're typically not competitive competitors of ours, but they're going to be in the future. We have to be ready for that. Uh, the second is really for me talent. And when you look at the transition from the uh, age of the workforce and the, and the generations and as folks retire, being able to backfill those folks properly and, and grow and, and pull people into our industry that, that don't know what it's about, that don't know how great of an industry it is. The, the sky's the limit. I think there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of great people. And so to stay connected to your peers, um, network, and, uh, and learn as much as you can because it, 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 you go by every day, you can learn something new and you can still think you have something figured out and you learn something new and you, and you don't quite have it figured out. So it's always changing and there's always something new to learn. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity with that. Um, the best advice I've ever got was, was really around, for me personally, understanding what I wanna do with my life and, and figuring that out and then running as fast as I can and chasing that. So for me, it's uh, taking that time to, to reflect, taking that time to plan my own goals personally, outside of work, outside of family, and really what do I want to accomplish? And then really focusing on that, setting a plan to it, and then chasing it as hard as you can. Yeah, for me, what's really changed the most is, is probably how I spend my time. You know, when I first started off in the industry, I was, was still in management, but really front lines, was in the day-to-day, -day, um, and now being more strategic, working more with our customers every day, working more with our suppliers. So it's really been a lot of the same actions, but with different groups of people and at a different level, thinking differently and thinking less about day-to-day -day and more strategically and longer-term thinking. Uh, I'd be my family. Um, I my wife stay, started staying home in uh, January this year to, to take care of our son and uh, it's been a goal of ours and to, to actually have that goal get realized is just something that we're pretty proud of and we're excited about and obviously having kids is, is humbling and, and seeing them grow up is, is a lot of fun so I th when I look at my family and you know what we've accomplished and how we have fun together and, and uh, balance work and life together um, it, it really is uh, for me hits at home. My mom values education highly. When I got out of high school, I, I was very set on going and getting my four-year degree right away and just and starting to go after that right away. And I didn't quite know what I wanted to do. And I didn't put my full effort into school. And I got about a year and a half into it and it, it wasn't a good fit. I was not happy. I knew it wasn't the right place for me to be. And um, there was some warning signs leading up to that, but I let, I let it go way too long. Um, so for me, I, I wish I would have just been real with myself. I was a little afraid to have that conversation with my mom and just say, I'm going to go from a four-year school to a two-year school. And for her that, you know, um, at the time she, she didn't understand, but having that conversation and, and really working that in and, and chasing what I knew was, was right for me, um, you know, just that delay, I, I just, I waited a little bit too long for that. If I wasn't in the electrical industry, I would actually have my own company. I would, uh, I actually had a company. I started a company when I started at Warner and we made custom concrete countertops. 
So uh, there was a point where that business got big enough where I had to make the choice of either stop the electrical industry and do that full time or stop that and do the electrical industry full time. So, so I think if I uh, had to go back and this wasn't an option, I probably would be chasing that right now. So. Yeah, in the next 10 years, I think the, the face of the industry is probably going to start to get younger. Like I said, as the generations change and we have some of this uh, new talent coming in, I think it's going to be really focused on technology and really a lot of distributors will be focused on service and value and trying to, to show um, why they deserve to earn that margin that they're charging. So there's going to be a lot more of this connection between what the customer is doing and the handoff between the distributor and whether it be a contractor or an end user is really going to become more and more ingrained and meshed together, I believe, because it's just going to be um, as, as costs go up for labor, there's just going to be so much draw on our attention and time to, to help out with that and really be an expert in, in so many areas outside of just electrical products, logistics, handling, uh, value add, light manufacturing. Um, but that, that sphere of influence is going to grow.